I just want to say it's an honor to act alongside you guys. This is my first big thing. I'm pretty Dude, nervous. Dude, that's how I felt every time I went in for an audition for the first time. <laughs> like, you just had to, like, apologize to everyone around it's like, you. sorry I'm not as good sorry. as you guys. <laughs> that's exactly how I felt. Good idea. <laughs> Yo, what's your favorite number? I actually, I was born in July, so my favorite number is either 7 or 13. 13? July is spooky. So what does that have to do with July? And July is 6, right? That's, Dude, you just shattered I mean, Wyatt's entire well, universe. My, <laughs> yeah. I'm well, dead now. well, I'm what born in mean? December, so uh, I think my favorite number is probably 7. This boils down to like he didn't know that like 6 comes after 5. <laughs> no, I was born in December, so my favorite number is 25. Dude, where's Owen? Yeah, fair enough. No. Owen? Yeah, where's Owen? I don't know. I don't know, guys, if you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Owen, every time I release a certain form of gas in my body, I feel as though Owen is kind of flying in and out of me because that's how I remember him. That's how I respect his spirit. Because I think that there's more to life than just the physical aspects of what you think. And how I think of Owen's mana, almost, I think of him as kind of like a skinny Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> And it makes sense. I feel like a compliment because it's not that Owen has a big head. It's, he doesn't. But Dwayne Johnson has a melon on his head, on his neck. It's huge. He's big, dude. And I think that Owen so knows he's. that. That's so Because you idiot. Dwayne Johnson he's huge. is so big. And Owen is such an opposite. I think it's a compliment. And I can't think of anything to say, but you're welcome. <laughs> what, jo what Jack and I used to do in the cars was we used to improvise stories and try to do as much random shit as we could. So like we'd be like, Jack would start off, or Jaden would be a part, and, and Wyatt would be a part of it too. So we'd start off, and Jack would be like, four little bunny rabbits running down his creek," and then and then he'll like pan to me, and I'll be like, "And one big top hat." And then they'll go, and then they'll go to like Jaden, and Jaden will be like, "Well, if you really count the top hat, then you gotta say that it's that it that, <laughs> that it's from that's from the Middle Earth." And then like we did that for like forty five minutes once, and like I swear the driver wanted to like. Veer <laughs> off of a cliff and, and explode the car, so we all just died. How because do you feel about pineapples? Pineapples? I I don't like fruit. Do you have a Jake? I mean, do you have a fruit that Jake can eat? <laughs> I do enjoy my fruits, but on top of fruits, I actually like celery. Really? It's quite good because well, 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 is that like your the, favorite vegetable? Oh, that's yeah. such a weird vegetable. No, but love. you know that they make pop tarts and celery, right? What? What are you talking about? I'm telling you for a fact that what we do is, celery isn't real. So essentially what it is. <laughs> celery is a man? Exactly, I'm telling you, you're, you're on the same it's, it's right? like It's kind of like a- No, there are things, I've done legitimate <laughs> research. There are a couple things that you don't understand. Also, the world is flat. What? And the moon landing was fake. Thank you. <laughs> not Dude, Elvis lives next door. Did you guys know it's, that? Yes, thank you. He's over there. It's not just flat either. The world, Dude, there's a blue no, no, no. What about the sky? Like space, it's, it's actually blue. I know. I know. These guys don't, they don't understand. And when people, I went to space myself and I saw it. I sat on Mars, okay? I'm telling you. The world is not just flat, but it's shaped like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Dude, think about it. I'm just glad that people are like being straight up with me for one. Because I've never heard any of this shit. And I well, think you guys always knew on the inside. Didn't you? I think I did. Yeah. It was always a part of it. Well, well I mean, Josh, I don't know. What do you like? Subconsciously. Subconsciously, Josh, yeah. what do you think? I don't know, dude. I think it has to do with my parents. I don't really want to get into it right now. <laughs> it's too personal. <laughs> what does that have to do with parents at dude, all? I think it has to do with I don't think you should make fun of it. I think he had a lot of courage to talk about it. Thank you. Of, uh, Thank speaking you. of parents, um, so I used to own one back in elementary school, and I had this. Uh, you I, yeah, I'm being for yeah, real. Yeah, I'm being for real. I, I had this friend over, right, and he came over, and we were just kind of like playing with the parrot, and we were just like making it repeat stupid things, and. Um, one of the things we made it repeat was, um... Maybe, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's exactly, that was it, actually. And, uh, good, good, good one, by the way. Um, he would say, my name is Jeff, and we thought it was really funny at the time. And so we decided to throw it off the roof, and it, you know, it had its wings clipped, so... Um, it, it was just, like, screaming, my name is Jeff, and it barreled down. And it's an iconic final No, 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 but it hit a bush, but uh, it, it was Did okay. it survive the ball? Uh, yeah, no, it hit President Bush last, outside. Right. It's the last words of my name, Jeff. Yeah, no and animals were harmed that much in the no. <laughs> That much. I no, actually, just, just imagine, though, your grandma 
just like on her deathbed, and you're just like, Grandma, I love you. And, and that was like, ruined my head. <laughs> just like, I love you I have too. so many questions. I have to tell you something. And you just say, <laughs> uh, come closer. What, Grandma? Come closer, son. I'm in the chair. <laughs> Grandma! <laughs> it's all a lie. I thought her name was Maxine. God damn it. And these are the questions in life. This is actually, and you know, there are many physical wonders of the world, but. They're introducing a new thing called yes. a mental wonder of the world, and the first one is why was Arcelia's name Jeff? Yes, <laughs> and we're spending. Is this, is this like, <laughs> is, this like a, is this a branch off of like uh, 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 Scientology? Well, yes. Well, you know how there's the seven wonders of the world, like Niagara Falls. Bird, my name, of course. Jeff. But now my name Jeff is the eighth this, one this. of the mental. It's a new thing. They oh! brought it in. Yes, they just brought it in. So it's a new religion. Oh, nice. The piece of lettuce, Obama. Just. Yeah, Obama's a okay. piece of lettuce? Have you ever heard of the Mandela effect? I just found that this out. This is now called the Obama lettuce effect. <laughs> True story. <laughs> Explain the Obama lettuce effect. <laughs> okay, the Obama lettuce effect. Please tell me you had Have you ever face looked zoomed up on there. Have you ever <laughs> looked so closely funny. at Obama, though? No, no, like at a picture. Have you ever zoomed in? <laughs> no. It's a piece of lettuce. It, it is shoot. green. It's a lettuce it's, green. it's just a piece of lettuce. Dude, I met him and he was a nice guy, but like I, I guess shook his hand and it just I caved in. <laughs> <laughs> and then I look, I opened my hand and there was just lettuce. I mean, all I thought he was spinach. <laughs> then I came around and we saw, and I saw the little curves. I saw it myself, and I couldn't think of you sweating because at first you see this beautiful. Majestic. Sheen. You see this beautiful sheen, majestic, beautiful marble carved piece of meat, which I thought he was because he's Obama and he's beautiful. Yeah. And, and a great president. He is and I know, and, and I, he's a great president. Great and then lettuce. You look in and you see him. Delicious. And I think, I just, when I saw him, I was so like, good. oh, you know, I wanted him my burger. And I originally was worried because I thought I was having cannibal thoughts <laughs> because it's a piece of lettuce. And I thought, oh my God, the fact that this, Guys. The piece, this piece of lettuce. Before it became the United President of the United States, it wasted all those years. And you know what I think that is? That's an Obamination. <laughs> dude, I met the, I met the guy. I met the guy. Me no, dude, I, I met the guy. I met the guy. He was fantastic. I love him. I still do. But maybe that's what you know. Maybe that's what the lettuce wants. No, he, he is. He is. He He's is. a man. He's a man. Of course. He's a man lettuce. But I think that's what um, Malia, her, his daughter, came in and and really? asked him. You know, so if, wait, I have a question. <laughs> yeah, I, hold on, I didn't finish my story. I didn't finish my story yet. Is it? Is it? Is she made of iceberg? No, no, no. She's human. She's human. Okay. She's human. okay. So, I so thought she's half human, half lettuce. No. So I met, I met Obama. Great guy. But you maybe said this. I know, I know. But I'll tell the end. Did you actually meet Obama? Like, really? I did. Yes. I swear to God. What do you feel like? He felt like lettuce. <laughs> yeah, he's an amazing guy. Love him so much. But then, um, you know, his daughter Malia came in and said. You need to get your mayo put on, which I don't know what that meant. Very funny, like 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 going to the like a beach day with dad. You but know? it's a lettuce. But thing. it's a lettuce thing. Yeah, you put mayo on your lettuce. But like, why does he put on mayo? Wouldn't that make him like soggier? Guys, listen. I think he's a soggy man. That yeah. piece of lettuce led like our country, and I don't want to disrespect him in any yeah. way. Yeah. Very funny, like 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 going to the like a beach day with dad. You but know? it's a lettuce. But thing. it's a lettuce thing. Yeah, you put mayo on your lettuce. But like, why does he put on mayo? Wouldn't that make him like soggier? Guys, listen. I think he's a soggy man. That yeah. piece of lettuce led Perfect. our country, and For I don't want to disrespect him in any yeah. way. Neither do I. No, I think I think it's a lettuce care is a great great health care. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, no, no. no. There's I nothing. think it's saving vegetables worldwide. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Why does it matter? Okay, okay. Why does it matter? Okay, I have one. I have one. Okay. What do you guys like? What's your favorite sandwich ever? Like lettuce sandwich. No, <laughs> Obama. As the lettuce. Cabbage? Cabbage is fine. Okay. Cabbage is fine. I'm I'm saying no, this is completely different. I'm, okay, I have one. What do you guys think is the perfect sandwich? Steak and cheese with spinach, onions, it's too much. Sprouts. It's too much. I have a better uh, petite filet. It's cooked medium, of course. So it's a steak. That's not a yeah, sandwich. No, but no, it's a sandwich. They, so they squish it down. And then you, they you tenderize put it. No, sh sh you need to put the um a layer of of cheese under the bread, of course, and then you eat that part first, and then you have the burger in the flattened steak, and you gotta like slice it in half. See, this is where. So it gets you could have just said steak, but sandwich. is it nutritious? No, I'm not done yet. Then when you slice it in half, then you got half of this sandwich, which you can put together <laughs> to make a bigger sandwich. Listen, here's the best part. Then you wrap it around in tin foil, and okay. then with that tin foil, you rip it apart, and you put in the tin fiddle little pieces of 
cyan peppers. And once you do that, I love cyan. Yeah, it's yeah, kind of yeah, like it, it turns into 